Zuschauer, herzlich willkommen zu Inside Wall Street vom Parkett der New York Stock Exchange. Ich bin Manuel Koch und bei mir ist heute Peter Cardillo of Rockwell Global Capital. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be back. Peter, we are in the middle of the earnings season and last week, Friday and uh, Thursday, we saw the tech giants, Google, Microsoft disappointing, but still with good numbers, but Wall Street is disappointed. No, I think it's, you know, so far so good. And uh, um, as of yesterday, there were around 81 uh, S&P 500 stocks that had already reported. And uh, as a result of that, uh, 85 to 90 percent beat estimates. Now, of course, you know, there's a little bit of a disappointment in terms of uh, revenue growth. But uh, by and large, it's going to be another good earning season, uh, probably uh, close to maybe four and a half, five percent. Uh, versus last year at this time. So all in all, the earnings season is good. So we saw the bank sector beating the es estimates, uh, expectations. We saw the tech giants not uh, beating them. Do you see anything special there? No, I mean, you know, you're going to have sectors that are not going to uh, perform well, and obviously that's due to the uh, uh, slow economic growth environment. And, of course, you know, I guess the quality of earnings might be questionable, uh, but nevertheless, uh, corporate America continues to, uh, uh, to earn money in tough times. The Dow Jones also uh, increased again last week, uh, all, all over the week. Do you think we see the markets increasing again, new all-time highs maybe? I think so. You know, I think we're in the midst of a summer rally. And, uh, of course, um, you know, Mr. Bernanke did his uh, uh, part again in uh, trying to calm the markets. And so far, he's been successful. And, of course, you know, uh, there is no time frame in terms of uh, when he is going to reduce uh, Uh, the stimulants, and of course, he's again repeated not once but a many, many of times that uh, 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 low interest rates are going to be here uh, for the foreseeable future. So that's the key, and of course, uh, with earnings, uh, with uh, corporate America continuing to show earnings growth, inflation under control, um, the market uh, is going to uh, move higher, and I think uh, the only game in town is uh, the stock market. Do you see a tapering of the Fed this year coming? Uh, not this year. We'll probably see the Fed make an announcement in November, possibly sometime in the first quarter of 2014. Uh, by then, perhaps uh, um, unemployment will probably be closer to maybe seven and a quarter percent, and I think that's when uh, the Feds probably will begin to taper off. And then we are going down from 85 billion to maybe 70, 65, something like that in the beginning? It all depends uh, on the economic data and it all depends on consumer spending, which I see basically uh, being confined to slower, uh, uh, slower growth in the months ahead. And that's due to rising oil prices, which are beginning to show up. And that's going to obviously impact Uh, uh, disposable income. So lower consumer spending probably means that the Fed is going to uh, perhaps uh, uh, trim to about 45 to 50 billion. You already mentioned that we are in a summer rally at the moment. This is like against the statistics. Normally we would see a little pullback in the summer and then we see a new Mark, market going up in in in, in, off, in the autumn and in the in the winter time. So, is there anything anything special? Is it just Bernanke, or what are we seeing? No, it's going to be earnings and the fact that the economic data um, continues to be mixed. You know, uh, I think that's what's going to uh, uh, drive stocks higher. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to get some sort of a pullback during the summer, but basically the summer rally will be confined uh, to this one to three percent trading range with a higher trading range in sight. In the upcoming week, we see, again, many companies reporting their numbers. Apple, Facebook, again, tech stocks. Do you expect, again, like disappointing numbers? Again, you know, I think there'll be some companies that will disappoint and, disappoint, and there will be others that will continue to, uh, uh, to beat lower estimates. So uh, I'm not looking for any major uh, disruptions in the earnings season. 
for Apple, you know, always they have to beat the expectations so high that the stocks are going up. Do you think they can beat them? Well, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, um, in tone to speak for, uh, uh, for Apple, obviously. But, uh, um, again, you know, the market's expectations uh, are what the market will be looking at. So in the end of the next one, two weeks, do you think we are going higher here? I think we probably could see a slight pullback. You know, next week we have a light uh, economic calendar. Most of the economic data uh, revolves around uh, the housing sector, durable goods. So there's a possibility with uh, earnings in full force that we could see a little bit of a pullback and then uh, uh, continue the march upward. Peter Cadillo of Rockwell Global Capital. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your time. Und Ihnen, liebe Zuschauer, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Wir sehen uns bald wieder hier vom Floor der New York Stock Exchange. Mehr Informationen finden Sie auf unserer Webseite www.drf.fm.